data engineering has become a high in demand job in the market. And this is mostly due to data science as a field, the rise of data science as a field. And as you know, it has been adapted by almost all the industries. If you look at the data science project, in the early days, the project requirements is of course given by business leaders, the mine experts, and then the further project project steps, including collecting the data, cleaning the data, exploring the data, creating predictive modeling with machine learning, deploying and maintaining the data is done by data science. But as and as when the field got matured, data scientists started focusing on a niche area which they are good at, which is essentially exploring the data, finding insights from the data, and creating predictive models. The first part of the project, which is collecting the data, preparing the data for the further, is done by data engineers. So this has made the data, data engineer feel the demand for data engineers exploding in the market. So what is data engineering? The data engineering is a practice of collecting the data, managing the data, processing the data, getting it ready, accessible for the other stakeholders, including data scientists, business analysts, etc. We look at the responsibilities of data engineer. Data engineers work on data architect, data architecture. So essentially setting up how the data flows, where it is stored, and ensuring that it is effectively uh, available to the other stakeholders, like data scientists. Also ensuring that it is cost effective. They also work on, uh, of course, one of the key as uh, responsible data engineers is collecting the data. So they work with various different data sources. Databases, SQL, NoSQL databases, data warehouses, data lakes, data marts, and all the other kind of uh, flat files, logs, etc. And then uh, they transform the data, essentially an ETL process, extract, transform, and load using ETL tools. And then they work on building and maintaining the data pipelines. Data pipelines are really a vital part of your data science or any data related projects. They ensure the data flow to the applications. And then of course, automate the data tasks as required. So these are the responsibilities of data engineer. We look at the data engineer skills. Primarily, they work with the data, uh, you know, databases and data, all kinds of data sources in the warehouse. So they should be very good at SQL and NoSQL databases like MongoDB. They should be also very good at um, big data technologies like Hadoop and PySpark because most of the data we're dealing with are going towards big data. They should be also very well uh, good in maintaining the data versions using tools like DVC, data version control, as well as orchestration of the data pipelines, which is done by a tool, one of the popular tools called Airflow, Apache Airflow. And then they are expected to also know a good knowledge, uh, to have good knowledge on cloud services like Amazon and Azure data services knowledge. Other skills such as machine learning, uh, Python is of course essential because most of the time they'll write the scripts on Python, um, you know, Excel and uh, TensorFlow, which is a Google platform, right? And a bit of knowledge on Linux as an operating system. Docker and Kubernetes for content residing. These are optional skills, right? And they really help us in automating the data pipelines and the data related tasks. So data science, uh, data engineering is high in demand as predicted by or uh, as analyzed by DICE. Um, it's one of the fastest growing field, about 50% year on year as per DICE. It also has majority of the uh, of the jobs created in the data scientists, 11.5 as, uh, as, 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 as predicted by report by 2026. Most of the jobs are coming from data engineering. So who can pursue data science? Well, data science doesn't really have, uh, the first thing is you, you should love data. So if you, if the data excites you, you enjoy working with data, you enjoy transforming them, you know, uh, processing them, and that's, and you have a good analytical skills, that's the most important aspect if you want to pursue a data engineering as a job. And there is no specific academic background required, any graduation or relevant degrees are fine because data engineering is essentially a high skill, a specifically high skill, uh, it requires a specific high skill set, skill set for doing the job. So 
over academics, it more relies on the skills uh, required for the data engineering. One of the often asked question, can uh, what kind of people like do you need an experience? Well, data engineering is is one of the popular choices for the people who are beginning their careers in data science and related areas. So beginners or um, you know uh, with the required skills uh, can pursue data engineering. In fact, it, it, it is one of the popular choices for the beginners and freshers. Experienced people, of course, can pursue a data engineering in higher levels, data architect, managerial delivery roles with respect to data engineering field. So when it comes to certified data engineering course from data mites, so these are the this is essentially a bundle course with about 10 courses combined together. So the courses are listed there. The detailed brochure of uh, the curriculum of each of these courses can be found in the description, uh, downloadable from the description link, which you can find. So it starts with a course called Data Engineering Foundation, talks about all the key concepts of data engineering. And then it's Python Foundation, because Python is an essential tool uh, nowadays for all kinds of data engineering job. And then we also have a Data Science Foundation, because data engineers, whatever they deliver, is taken over by data scientists for the further analysis. So they should also have fairly good idea about data science and machine learning, how they work, and high level knowledge about all the related aspects of data science. And then you have various other tools, including version control such as Git and DVC data version control. Big Data Foundation, as we discussed before, data scientists should be equipped with the big data technologies like Hadoop and PySpark. Then you also need to have a good idea about Tableau and uh, Visual Analytics tools. Though it is not often used, but an idea, a good knowledge about Tableau and Power BI is, is, could be very helpful as a data engineer. And then, of course, a very strong knowledge in database, SQL and MongoDB and related databases. Data Engineering Associate, which is an advanced level of next level of data engineering course, which talks about data pipeline, building them, and many other tools involved in it. And of course, at the end, you have a data engineering um, services in Amazon Cloud as well as Azure Cloud. So this 10 course combo is the most comprehensive set. And then it, you, with completion of this one, you should be ready to the market. That, that's the intention of the syllabus. When it comes to tools, data certified data engineering course from Datamites covers almost all the tools I mentioned till now, including Docker, Kubernetes, PySpark, Hadoop, and the core tools such as uh, SQL, MongoDB, and a bit of machine learning, data engineering, MySQL, GitHub, uh, Kafka, which is a real-time data uh, pipeline, etc. And also data orchestration tool, which is data, uh, Apache Airflow. So why data mines? Data mines is been has been delivering a data sciences courses, data science related courses, specialized in data science for more than eight years now, and they have more than 30,000 learners across the full time learners across the world, specifically pursuing data science courses. They take an approach of three phase structured learning. So, in, in which first phase is essentially a self study material. It's a shorter phase, which you are supposed to read, read the materials avail made available to you, high quality videos. Phase two, <clears throat> phase two is actually live training, live interactive training with the uh, instructor led. It could be both online virtual as well as the classroom based on which city you are. There are certain cities they provide that. There's a very rigorous training happens over a period of time with about 20 hours a week as a minimum requirement, hours requirement, learning requirement. Right? And after that, phase three, which is focused on projects and internship. Right? In data engineering, uh, essentially, you do a lot of projects in creating a data pipeline, setting up these things helping data scientists uh, in terms of whatever the requirements are. And also you do a live internship, internship with one of the uh, IT companies or data science companies to get a real world exposure. And of course, then you have certifications and stuff to finish your course. This three phase approach has been proven to be very effective when you want to learn and especially when you want to learn skills from a job market perspective. So it's an internship exclusively provided for the data mind students with uh, companies around uh, India. We're also working across the world um, to, to provide internship opportunities. And it's a part of the course. And then you have a <clears throat> job ready program, 
which focuses on all the aspects of uh, of you as a as uh, to, to get your job ready from your resume, your profile building, or skills uh, revision and enhancement, mock interviews, group discussions, and then uh, referral jobs and ensuring uh, taking the feedback from the actual job interviews so that you're more prepared for next job interviews until you land on a job. 